Hello FIFA faithful, Bearhams here and welcome to a youth tour special. It is the 2020 FIFA World Cup and we will be playing it with Ireland. For our roster we have brought up four Aberdeen players as well as a player from Limerick FC. As you can see Brendan O'Carroll will be between the sticks as we have Jason Cunningham and Eamon O'Neill as our wing backs. We have Kennedy as our CDM and then we of course, I mean of course, we got Casey Gillespie as our striker. So now we'll take a look at uh, the group. Yeah, it's quite a daunting group. We have Germany, Switzerland, and Colombia. Let's take a look at Group B. There's Spain, Bulgaria, Mexico, Uruguay. Group C is England, Poland, Australia, Chile. And we have Argentina, Netherlands, Turkey, India for Group D. Group E, France, Sweden, Norway, Cameroon. Group F, Portugal, Slovenia, Canada, and Egypt. Group G, Italy, Finland, New Zealand, South Africa, and finish it out, we have Brazil, Belgium, Romania, and the Côte d'Ivoire, the Ivory Coast. So I have to say, ours is probably the group of death. If not, I could see ah, Group D, not too bad. But yeah, I think we are the group of death. We have one of the best, I mean, honestly, one of the better Latin American countries. We got the powerhouse in Germany, and also Switzerland are pretty good as well. I don't see us getting past the group stage, but if we do, I, I consider it a victory. Of course, for our first game, we take on the almighty Germany. We are sticking to Ireland's 3-5-2 just because... You know what? I think the players are used to playing in that formation. We'll give them uh, as much comfort as possible as Werner already takes a screaming shot on but it is saved by Brendan O'Carroll who we have not seen play for a couple years now since he has been with Limerick FC uh, he has not moved since but it's gonna be a matter of time before that guy is in a top five roster there's Julian Brandt I don't like what's going on here there's a lot of white jerseys headed away there's a pass but a great clearance by Kieran Clark just as Tony Kroos was gonna get a foot to it we're going to have to do a lot of that this entire game if we want to stay in. And I don't think we are. Julian Brandt, 27th minute, puts it past O'Carroll. And yeah, this team's really good. Of course they're really good. It's the Germans. It's now Ter Stegen. We'll launch it out. We will win the header, but it will find the feet of Stark. No relation to Ned or Tony Stark. It's now Julian Brandt. Cuts his way past Eamon O'Neill. It's now Voland. Through ball to Brandt. Brandt with a cross. Hyverts was there, but is that one of our uh, one of our dudes getting ahead on it? I think it was. Good job on them as they're going to have a chance here. That's a header that will skim off of the head of Kennedy. The Germans are up 2-0. Ah, I think that is Voland too. Yep, Voland who plays for Bayer Leverkusen. We'll get another goal in now. Oh, they're going to give it to Kennedy. So Kennedy, one of our first players to score. Unfortunately, it is an own goal. Uh, at this point, it's just damage control. we got to solve our uh, problem with the goal difference. That's one issue we will be having throughout this tournament is just if we continue to let in goals to Germany, we are screwed. It's now Hyverts dancing around. We'll find the ball to Werner. Werner gets a shot on goal, but a great save by O'Carroll. Kennedy to Ida. Ida will tap that to McCarthy. McCarthy waiting for a run by O'Neal. O'Neal will make the run. O'Neal, he sees Gillespie out wide. Gillespie gets ahead to it, but it goes straight to the gullet of Ter Stegen again. It's so once again Gillespie getting something to it, but just Ter Stegen again showing why he's one of the better goalkeepers in the world. Tries to get something, but it is cleared out. Gillespie. Wins the header. Good play by Gillespie, but Ida misses it, but he's going to win it. Poor play. Ida, please shoot. No, he's not going to score as Ter Stegen once again making all the saves he needs. As we do keep it in, Gillespie does get a cross in the box, but no one's home. And I think that's going to do it here. We tried our best in the last couple minutes. We had a chance with Ida, but he just floundered that chance. So there is Yogi Lowe shaking the hand of Andy O'Neill. I mean, we put on a show, although we didn't score. Technically, we did score with Kennedy, but although we didn't score, I felt pretty confident in that game, and I think if we can put that same effort into the Colombia and the Switzerland game, we might just have a chance to slip in out of this group. 
For the second game in the group stage, we take on Switzerland, and we have switched our formation back to the old 4-3-3, hoping Gillespie, Cunningham, and O'Neal as soon as I switch Kennedy and O'Neal around. I am so sorry for the shadows. It's just because of the the filter that they put on for the World Cup. It makes it harder to see. So if you really can't see it, I am truly sorry. Trying to see a run from Cunningham, which he won't as it does get deflected. So now here's Jordan Shakiri to Mbolo. Where is our defense? Where is our defense? Oh, my God. Both of our center backs are MIA. So I believe that is... That is Fernandez celebrating with his fellow countrymen in just five minutes. We are already down by one. Okafor tries to get a ball through, but a good interception by Clark. But he's not going to keep it as there's another shot. Great save, though, by O'Carroll, who, again, is going to have to be on call for this entire 90 minutes. So we can at least have a chance. So we are going to lose the ball. And that's going to be a penalty. Our defense is just totally shambolic. As now they're going to have a chance to get goal number two in the first 15 minutes. So we do have to cut down Jordan Jakiri. Are we going to guess right? Yes, we will. Good play by O'Carroll to guess right. It's going to find McCarthy. McCarthy out wide to Doherty. Doherty cuts. Gets a cross in. Looking for Cunningham. Shoot it. Shoot it, please. Yes, we do get a goal. Thank you, Eamon O'Neill off the deflection. It will get the first Irish goal in this World Cup. Oh, beautiful. Finally get to take a look at the letters as we celebrate in the corner of our fans. That was a lucky one. Thankfully, we do have an 84-rated Eamon O'Neill there to pick up the scraps. So it was a very favorable cross by Doherty. Though a good defensive play by their center back. Well, not good enough as Eamon O'Neill is able to chest it down. Takes a deflection off the same Swiss defender. Eamon O'Neill gets his first goal in the World Cup. Good pass to Coleman. Coleman having to dance around. He'll keep it. Oh, good pass. There's a shot. Takes a deflection to me. Another goal. <laughs> it's Eamon O'Neill again in the first half. And another deflection. So he's going to celebrate with his fellow countrymen. Oh my goodness, Eamon O'Neill. Second goal of the game puts Ireland up top and maybe a glimmer of hope at the end of the rainbow as we might find ourselves in the round of 16. Once again, another deflection off of the same defender too at number 18. Puts it right between the legs of Roman Berkey. And yeah, we have the lead somehow. Somehow, it's Coleman. Oh, good pass inward, Gillespie. Through ball, McCarthy. Oh, McCarthy! Beautifully set up by Gillespie. Just can't do anything with it. Oh, that's a good pass. Going to go out wide to Coleman. Coleman now cuts up. Going to find Cunningham out wide. Cunningham. Gets a cross in. Far post. Oh, he was looking for O'Neal. O'Neal could have had himself a hat trick. But it will stay as a corner. Is maybe a chance now. We do win the header. Great play. Maybe a chance for another cross. Gillespie. Oh, he's there. We'll keep the ball in. Doherty. Another cross, though it does take a little bit of a deflection. And that will be the end of the half. Fantastic performance by our boys. Of course, Eamon O'Neill with two goals, both of them deflected. I don't think he cares at this point. Two goals in the FIFA World Cup is something to behold. So we're holding on to the lead here. So we're heading on to the second half of this game. Start of the second half, and the only thing that sucks is that we can't bring on Akeem Clayton. God, that's such a bummer. There's the interception by O'Neill, though it's going to stay with them. And there's a good play. There's a shot. There's a goal. Jordan Shakiri in the 80th minute puts it past O'Carroll. We're going to have to make some subs here. So we will bring on Jeff Hendrick, the Burnley center mid. I think that is a good idea because that guy was getting really tired. Going to win it. Brown going out wide to O'Neill. O'Neill having to find some space for a cross, which he will. But there's men in the box, so Kennedy will recover. Chance for a shot. Takes it. Oh, and he hits the crossbar come on 
Oh, a golden opportunity, as I believe that was Hendrick. Finding a chance for a cross. Catch it, O'Carroll. Thank you. And that will be the end of the 90 minutes here at wherever. I mean, it's not in Qatar. You could tell, tell me that. But after 90 minutes, O'Neal gave us a glimmer of hope. But it was squashed by Jirdan Shakiri. So we do get a point. There's still an opportunity for us to get through to the round of 16. But it's just going to be a little more difficult. Before we take on Colombia, we'll take a look at the group standings. And it's very wide open. Essentially, there is a chance that Germany might get out, but most likely not. As they will take on Switzerland. And essentially, if we win, we're in. All right, boys, what are you made of? Finds Gillespie, Gillespie, safety valve in McCarthy, back to Gillespie. Through ball, oh, cut, cross, header, yes! Yes, and it's Jason Cunningham in just the 11th minute, tapping it from the cross from Shane Duffy, who, by the way, should not be playing left back. Oh, boy, I should have dealt with that earlier. Again, stupid game. Screwing that all up. But it is Jason Cunningham. Thank you, sir. So our second our second player on the Aberdeen side. Well, we're not no longer the coach for Aberdeen. But our second Aberdeen player getting on the board in this FIFA World Cup. And has given us hope with just 80-some minutes left in the game. Now Gillespie. Oh, here's a chance. Coleman. Coleman with the shot. Yes! Two on the board. Seamus Coleman, a veteran, 33 years old, wearing the captain's armband, gets the captain's goal. Uh-oh, that's not good. There's a shot. Good save. Get in the way. Oh, another good save. But it will be a penalty on the captain as he did his best just to get in the way, and it looks like it's going to be a red. Oh, the last thing we needed. Seamus Coleman, our goal scorer, to get the insurance goal. It's now O'Carroll against James Rodriguez. Guesses the right way. Tried to go for a chip. Easy play. There's a chance for a shot, and they're going to make it just before halftime. It is Bore with the goal. That's what's going to happen when you only have three defenders. Since Seamus Coleman got the red card, we've had to switch formations, and we are going to a 5-3-1. And yes, your eyes are not deceiving you. Casey Gillespie is going to have to play center back. We need all six foot six of them just to get in the way and help us secure a spot into the round of 16. O'Neal will be our striker as Cunningham will move to a left wing back. And now it's just about holding on for the next 45 minutes. Oh, they're going to have a chance for a counter as Bore will find Rodriguez, who's dead tired, by the way. A lot of these guys are extremely knackered. He gets across in the... You serious? God damn it. It's cleared out. Yep, that'll be it. You know, we tried our hardest. We really did. Really, really tried. We had two early goals, but it was that red card to Seamus Coleman that killed us. So, man, I, I've just having I've just been having some really bad luck with FIFA 19 and the international circuit. And full disclosure, I have never won the World Cup in this game ever. I've bought this game for years, and I I just have never won it. And I, the only time I will complain about the computers and the AI is in this. For some reason, when it comes to the World Cup, that's when they're at their most just bullshit. And unfortunately, with the players that we have, we just could not get through to the round of 16. To finish off the episode, we will go through a step-by-step -step process of this FIFA World Cup as I did simulate the rest since... I mean, we don't have any more games. And taking a look at our group. Isn't it just ridiculous? In nine, yeah, in nine, nine, twelve games or whatever, only one game resulted in a win. The rest were in draws. And of course, the game that was 
the win loss was ours and of course we lost against Germany by a score of two to nil and that's what screwed us over in the goal differential as well as in the points as honestly if we would have drew again we would have had a chance at possibly getting a spot into the round of 16 so unfortunately we didn't get a round of 16 though it was very tough considering looking at the the teams that we had it was honestly a group of death with germany switzerland and colombia so kudos to eamon o'neill and jason cunningham for doing their darndest to get us as far as we possibly could so now we get to the round of 16 where germany lost to spain so that takes out one of our teams as well as switzerland as they lost a year ago two to one we get to the quarterfinals. Spain beat England. France beat Italy. Poland beat Uruguay. And then Brazil beat Portugal. And then we go to the semis, where they don't exist. Third place game. But we do get a final, as France obliterate Poland by a score of 4 to nil. So that is how the 2022 FIFA World Cup goes down. So it means that France will get the repeat, though I don't know if that might happen in the future, but it really might happen since they have a fantastic uh, youth side coming up. So yes, this will be the end of the episode. I wish I had more games to show you, but our team just could not do it. So uh, I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I did playing it. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. This has been Bearhams, and as always, toodaloo.